good morning students welcome to the science class now we continue that lesson amazing energy now the first topic is solar energy sun is the main source of all energies on the earth the energy we get from the sun is called solar energy solar energy the sun is the main source of all energies on the earth the energy we get from the sun is called solar energy living organisms they are depend on solar energy for their survival means to live plants prepare their own food using sunlight this process is called a photosynthesis the sun means the sun which is a natural resource the sun is regarded as the main source of energy for all living organisms in the world right from the human beings animals and plants all use the solar energy for various purposes if the solar energy stop reaching us the life on the earth will be wiped out within no time so green plants trap solar energy to convert it to chemical energy this stored chemical energy of plant is used by animal and men as food and fuel solar energy is trapped in solar battery solar cooker solar heater and for various purposes how do plants get energy from the sun students how plants prepare their own food from the sun you know that students now listen the chlorophyll of plants has the capability to absorb light energy and convert it to potential energy this potential energy combines carbon dioxide and water to form food this food is produced in the body of plants with the help of sunlight these plants are the sources of food for men and animal this process is called a photosynthesis you will learn details in uh, details um, for photosynthesis in a higher classes so students you can observe in the given pictures here some solar devices are there like a solar car solar cooker solar panel solar street light solar sailboat and solar plane do this activity write the name of solar energy devices that you have seen or used i already here written students you know which you you also write some devices name which you know and you are used like a solar cooker solar water heater solar car solar calculator and solar watch use of solar energy for different works reduces the use of electricity and prevents pollution of the environment next is wind energy air is one of the natural resource air is one of the sources of energy it is also a source of energy moving air is called a wind moving air is called a wind <coughs> and wind possesses energy this is called a wind energy in ancient time people used to make boats and ships sails on the oceans with the help of wind wind mill rotates due to the fast movement of wind the turbines rotating due to this wind energy and produces electricity wind energy is a strong wind and cyclone have a huge energy due to which they can uproot trees electric poles and buildings this property today is utilized in windmills which rotates the generator attached with it to produce electricity the sailboat and sail ships get energy from the strong wind blowing in the sea wind has a enormous energy by using this energy many works could be done naturally available wind is 
used as energy and we must learn to protect ourselves next is a tidal energy you know that student the tides takes place in the ocean and seas the rises and fall of water in the sea they form a tidal energy next is stored energy of water stored energy of water flowing water is a source of energy in order to use water as a source of energy a dam has to be built across a river and water must be stored in it that is potential energy means stored water is allowed to flow from a higher level to fall on turbines due to the force exerted by running water turbines rotate fast and produces electricity these are called a hydroelectric power generating station you can see in the image students here you can see that is a hydroelectric power system how it is you uh, running once again listen it is water it is also a source of energy you know that the word hydroelectricity mean meaning electricity from the water water is used to produce electricity potential energy of water which is stored in reservoirs when made to fall on the turbines is transformed into mechanical energy the turbines starts rotating very fast between the two poles of a strong magnet generator due to huge motion generates electrical energy this energy is called a hydroelectric energy the place where this energy is produced is called hydroelectric power station the various stages through the electric energy is generated in hydroelectric power station next is efforts of man in producing electricity by using water energy to be appreciated name the work which can be done by using water energy <coughs> like the water they produces electricity hydroelectric power plants and next to you write yourself students next two examples where work which can be done by using water energy now this energy produced by ocean tides is called a tidal energy next is electrical energy nowadays most of our daily work is been easily done by the help of electricity we know that students we are daily use electricity in our home it is possible to do more work in less time using electricity write any four works which are done using electrical appliances in your home like uh, iron ironing the clothes tv for entertainment fridge for keep the food fresh water heater for heating water so all these are the appliances of electrical energy the electric cells have some chemicals which when react together and produce electrical energy the dry cell which are also called a battery cell are used in radios torch clocks and watches to give electrical energy it is the electricity which gives light through bulb and tubes machines are run in the factories and industries and mills with the help of electrical energy and heater air conditioner cooler geyser mixer grinder run with the help of electrical energy train also run lifts also work by electrical energy fan also rotating by electrical energy aeroplane fly over the continent because of electrical energy so all these are the electrical appliances but when we have to be very careful when we using that appliances so electrical energy is very useful in our daily life electricity is supplied to houses 
and other places from electric power generating stations. Electrical appliances must be used carefully. Next is bioenergy. Bioenergy the gas produced by decaying agricultural waste, plant residues, animal dung, etc. in the absence of air is called biogas plant. It is used for cooking. The energy available from biogas can be converted into electricity and may be used for many works. Right here the works you know that can be done using bioenergy. You know that students bioenergy means cow dung means gober shagni is another solid fuel used in Indian villages. The cake made from cow dung are used in chula or a oven for producing fuel. Now in place of cow dung gober gas is used for cooking purposes and they also produces electricity. The decayed matter of gober gas plant is used as a manure for plants and crops. Manure means fertilizers. Next, write here the work you know that can be done using bioenergy. It can burn without smoke and is an efficient source. It does not produce any ash. It can be used directly for heating, lighting and generating electricity. Celery left behind in a biogas plant is used as a manure. Bioenergy obtained from agriculture waste helps human beings to maintain healthy environment. Next is chemical energy. Next is chemical energy. Chemical energy is produced by the chemical reactions that takes place in the substances. For example, chemical reaction in electric cell they produces electricity one more example students listen here when the head of matchstick is rubbed against a matchbox it gives light and heat understand so this happens because some of the hidden energy means chemical energy is produced one more example when we eat food the chemical energy of food particles reacts with different chemicals in the stomach which in turn produces heat and other form of energy in the body. Next is fuel energy. You know that students one more energy is available in the nature and that is also called a natural resource. It is a fuel energy. Fuel is the natural source of energy which is combustible produces heat and means fuel energy they produces heat and light energy on burning this can be converted into electrical energy heat energy and mechanical energy some fuel energies are given here picture students you can see in the picture in the first image that is a lamp here in that lamp we use kerosene fuel Next, firewood for cooking purposes. LPG means liquid petroleum gas which is used in our kitchen for food purpose, cooking food purposes. Next is petrol which is used in bike. Diesel, it is used in trucks or lorry. Next three, you write yourself students. Firewood is also a fuel. Burning of firewood gives heat energy. By using this heat energy, it is possible to cook and do other works. Fuel is the natural resource. We must be used moderately to protect our environment. Solar energy must be used more instead of conventional fuels. Energy is available in different forms from natural sources. Now students, here one activity is given. Write the different forms of energy that you have learnt in this lesson. First one, muscular energy. Second, wind energy. Third, mechanical energy. Fourth, heat energy. Fifth, solar energy. Sixth, electrical energy. 7th bioenergy 8th chemical energy 
नाइन वाटर एनर्जी एंड टेन फ्यूल एनर्जी ऑल दीज आर द डिफरेंट फॉर्म्स ऑफ एनर्जीज विच यू हैव स्टडी इन दिस लेसन नेक्स्ट इज चेंज ऑफ एनर्जी फ्रॉम वन फॉर्म टू अनदर फॉर्म द एनर्जी विच इज अवेलेबल फ्रॉम सोर्सेज लाइक अ सन वॉटर विंड फूड केमिकल रिएक्शन आर प्रेजेंट नैचुरली इन द नेचर द एनर्जी फाउंड इन डिफरेंट फॉर्म्स गेट्स चेंज एंड बिकम यूजफुल फॉर ह्यूमन लाइफ फॉर एग्जाम्पल फ्यूल एनर्जी गेट्स कन्वर्टेड इन टू मकैनिकल एनर्जी फॉर एग्जाम्पल टू रन द वाइकल्स फायर वुड गेट्स कन्वर्टेड इन टू हीट एनर्जी फॉर एग्जाम्पल वेन फायर वुड इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू हीट एनर्जी वेन वी कुक अ फूड सम अदर एक्टिविटीज आर गिवन हेयर लिसन स्टूडेंट्स रनिंग ऑफ पेट्रोल पेट्रोल कार केमिकल एनर्जी इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू मैकेनिकल एनर्जी ड्रम प्लेइंग मस्कुलर एनर्जी इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू साउंड एनर्जी ड्राइंग अप ऑफ पापर इन द हॉट सन सोलार एनर्जी इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू हीट एनर्जी कुकिंग फूड यूजिंग बायो एनर्जी बायो गैस बायो एनर्जी इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू हीट एनर्जी ग्लोइंग ऑफ एन इलेक्ट्रिक बल्ब बाय रोटेटिंग टर्बाइंस means wind energy is converted into electrical energy so i think you understand students how energy changes from one form to another form next is conservation of energy conservation of energy energy can neither be created nor be destroyed it can change it can be converted from one form to another form energy remains in one or the other forms if energy released by natural source like sun wind water fuel etc is used moderately we can save energy use the clues given in the bracket and write which alternative energy can be saved by doing the activities <laughs> given below so students you write yourself that is given in your test book energy can neither be created nor be destroyed only it can be converted from one form to other total energy in the universe remains conserved this is law of conservation of energy which is given by robert a german physicist when we burn a coal then the chemical energy of coal gets converted to heat and light energy and potential energy of water falling on the turbines the changes to form of kinetic energy or a mechanical energy and finally to electrical energy which in turn gets converted to heat light and mechanical energy when diesel burns in the engine of an automobile the chemical energy of diesel can get converted to heat and mechanical energy so in this lesson students we have study about meaning of work what is energy energy is needed to do work different forms of energy with examples uses of different types of energies change of energy from one form to another form and last conservation of energy so i hope students you have understand that lesson so in next video we have study question answers about that lesson